The toxic effects of eating margarine on a regular basis. If you're still using margarine or so-called spreadable butters, it may be time to rethink that choice. Margarine is often marketed as a healthier alternative to butter, but is it really? In this video, I'll explain exactly what margarine is, how it's made and why it is very damaging to your health. We'll also look at why real butter is a healthier option for your heart, brain and overall well-being. 1. Margarine Origins Margarine was invented in the 19th century as a cheaper alternative to butter. It was originally made for the military as an easy way to feed the soldiers, but it was then promoted as a more affordable option for families who are on a lower income. In the 1800s, margarine was made with nutritious beef tallow and milk, which made it an easy fat to spread over bread and other foods. However, after World War II in the mid-20th century, manufacturers wanted a cheaper way to make margarine, so they started using hydrogenated seed oils. The marketing and advertising pushed the margarine as a heart-healthy alternative to butter, but this wasn't based on health at all, just industrial production and profit. Seed oils were plentiful and cheap, so margarine became the processed food of choice and the consequences to our health are still unfolding today. What's really in margarine? Margarine is mostly made from processed seed oils like soybean, canola and sunflower oil. These oils are extracted from the seeds using hexane, a very toxic chemical solvent made from petroleum. After the oil's extracted, it's then refined and heated to high temperatures. This cooking strips away any natural nutrients and starts to create harmful compounds. These processed oils are not only completely lacking in any nutrients at all, they're actively harmful for your body. They also have high amounts of omega-6 which causes inflammation in the body when it's too high. 3. Hydrogenation and altering the fat To make margarine spreadable, manufacturers used to use a process called hydrogenation. This alters the chemical structure of the oils and creates dangerous trans fats. Trans fats are well known to increase the risk of heart disease because they cause inflammation on the inner walls of the arteries. As people became more aware of these dangers, the manufacturers tried something clever and they started using a different process to make the margarine. Nowadays, they're using something called interesterification, where they rearrange the fats in oils using chemical catalysts or enzymes. While these may not produce those dangerous trans fats we talked about, they are still chemically processed oils and studies show that they can still cause the same heart problems, insulin resistance and other health problems in the body. These modified fats are still the hidden danger in these so-called heart healthy spreads. 4. Free radicals and inflammation when they process seed oils, it causes them to oxidise. This produces free radicals, which are unstable molecules that damage the cells throughout your body. Free radicals cause inflammation, advanced ageing and they increase the risk of diseases like cancer, heart disease, diabetes, you get the picture. By eating margarine, you're exposing your body to these harmful free radicals along with a soup of chemicals which can inflame your arteries and weaken them over time. This really isn't what you want in your diet, especially if you're trying to protect your heart. 5. Gut Health Margarine's processed ingredients don't just affect your heart, they can disrupt the microbalance in your gut as well. The artificial chemicals and the low quality fats in the margarine are very difficult for your body to process which can lead to digestive issues or an imbalance in gut bacteria. It can cause damage to the walls of your intestines so toxins begin to leak into your bloodstream and this can lead to several autoimmune diseases. Real butter on the other hand is completely different as it provides healthy fats which support your digestion and promote a balanced microbiome. 6. 
butter. Unlike margarine, real butter is a natural food that's made by churning cream. It contains healthy fats like butyrate which reduce inflammation and support healthy circulation in your body. Humans have actually been consuming butter for over 5,000 years and despite what you may have heard, butter is not the enemy of your heart. In fact, cholesterol in butter plays a very important role in building cell membranes and raising good cholesterol without making any changes to the bad, small dense LDL cholesterol. Since your brain is made of 60% fat, butter also helps to strengthen the brain and the nervous system. Real butter is rich in the active vitamin A called retinol, vitamin D, E, B12 and K2, all of which can help to protect your arteries against plaque. I recommend however to choose butter from grass fed cows for the maximum level of nutrition. 7. Margarine and Obesity both margarine and seed oils trigger inflammation and disrupt your body's ability to metabolise fat. Essentially, your body has a hard time recognising this as food as it's high in artificial ingredients. So your cells don't get the nutrients that they need, causing you to feel more hungry. This leads to overeating and fat storage. Butter, on the other hand, contains natural fats that help to regulate your appetite and improve satiety so that you feel full, supporting weight management and a healthy metabolism. Many people are now blending butter into their morning coffee to lose weight, and this is called bulletproof coffee. 8. Butter's Amazing CLA Butter from grass-fed cows is particularly high in conjugated linoleic acid. This is a fat that's been shown to help reduce body fat storage but can boost your lean muscle by enhancing the metabolism. So while margarine causes inflammation and weight gain, real butter provides the healthy fats that you need to stay lean, strong and heart healthy. Number 9. The Olive Spread Illusion Many people also think that switching to an olive oil spread is a healthier option, but if you look at the labels, you'll often see blend of European oils. These products are often fake, as they mostly contain cheap seed oils with just a dash of processed olive oil, this is absolutely no better than margarine. To get the real health benefits of olive oil, you need extra virgin single sourced oil. Most of the olive spreads are sadly just margarine in disguise, so don't let the marketing fool you, stick to real butter or high quality extra virgin olive oil. 10. Butter's Hormone Benefits The healthy fats in real butter also support the glands in your body in making important hormones like cortisol, estrogen, testosterone and many others. When you go on a low fat diet and you don't consume enough healthy fats, this can disrupt the hormone balance in both women and men, causing low energy, mood swings and weight gain. Low fat diets also contribute to a worsening of menopause symptoms in women as they get older. By consuming some real butter, you nourish your body with the building blocks that it needs to keep your hormones in check. 11. Butter versus Margarine Margarine is highly unstable when it's heated, causing its oil to break down into harmful byproducts. The same thing happens when you cook with things like corn, canola, soy, cottonseed oil, etc. Now, butter on the other hand adds flavour and nutrition to your meals, and it's much more stable at higher temperatures and it doesn't release these harmful chemicals. Which leads me on to number 12, other healthier fats. If you're serious about your health and you want to improve your diet, there are other healthy options that you can use instead of margarine. You can use extra virgin olive oil which is great for salads and low heat cooking like a stir fry. Real olive oil is rich in antioxidants and heart healthy monounsaturated fats. Raw coconut oil is also a stable fat that can actually withstand high heat cooking. It contains MCTs which are used by your body and your brain to make energy. 
Avocado oil is also good for cooking at high temperatures and is also packed with healthy fats. Obviously, grass-fed butter or ghee is rich in fat-soluble vitamins and butyrate which can heal your gut. Valencia peanut butter spread is the healthiest version of peanut butter because it has lower levels of aflatoxins compared to regular peanuts. Flaxseed oil is also a plant-based source of omega-3s which can be used in cold dishes like salads or even smoothies. And virgin cod liver oil can be taken as a supplement to help lower the inflammation and damage that may have been caused by the vegetable oils and the margarine in your body in the past. And finally, nuts and seeds are also good sources of healthy fats, fibre and essential nutrients like magnesium, but don't go overboard with nuts as they do contain a lot of oxalates. Summary so, is margarine really the heart-healthy alternative that it claims to be? Absolutely not at all. Margarine is filled with processed oils, chemicals and additives that cause inflammation, they make you hungry and they harm your health. Real butter, on the other hand, is a simple, natural food that provides the healthy fats that your body needs. You may be worried about the extra cost of butter, but the truth is you'll probably end up spending less because butter satisfies you and reduces hunger massively. If you want to get serious and protect your heart for the long term and also to nourish your brain cells, switch to real butter. Or you can use extra virgin olive oil from a single sourced origin in Europe. When you start eating real foods like butter, meat, fish and organic vegetables, you'll notice how much cheaper your grocery bill becomes when you start cutting out the processed rubbish. Sadly, most people who consume these seed oils and margarines are often deficient in important nutrients like potassium as well. If you'd like to find out if this is your problem, watch the video that I've put on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos. As always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.